My name is Geza Varga. I'm one of the founders of this uh, eco project here in Garga Hevis. We are about uh, 45 kilometers east from Budapest right now. And we are in the middle of the, of the farmyard of the Garga Farm, first Hungarian cooperative for organic farming. We started this activity in the late 80s already. And then since that, uh, or uh, the aim of our project was to establish an eco-village and uh, ecological agriculture uh, using alternative technology, using eco, eco housing and uh, all such kinds of things. But the community building is also a very important part of our project. What you mentioned about the importance of uh, what goes back into the soil, you know, I think that that was a very important idea for engineers. I mean, engineers might think that, well, this is about farming, you know, what, what, what can I do about that? Well, whatever goes back into the soil and the water system is a very important uh, indication on what goes into the human body. And of course, if we disassemble things and we have toxic parts in that, and if that goes into the soil and to the water system, then obviously that becomes toxic for humans as well. So it's a whole life cycle that we have to consider. I am for a more sustainable paradigm, a more ecological paradigm, which means that uh, we had better not to produce uh, the waste uh, instead of uh, trying to reduce it, instead of trying to recirculate it, etc. So therefore, of course, yeah, you have to catch all these toxic uh, content at the time of design, so you don't put it into the parts, so they don't have to recycle it and worry about it later. But you see, you have to understand it, and then a lot of people, a lot of designers, won't understand this until they really don't uh, see the whole cycle. Yeah. So we try to to set up and establish such a such a sustainable rural settlement here in the Hungarian rural area where we come up from the from the bottom up we come up from the from the natural point of natural natural environment uh, environment instead of uh, coming from a technocratic uh, right. way to to make our, our, uh, our environment better yeah so in that in that way we are we started to uh, farm organically we are doing that on 300 hectares and uh, we are quite successful many in that. years you started this many years ago how, we how long started you as i said the uh, around the, the end of the 80s the 1980s we started this project and uh, so we were already at that time aware that the that the, the fossil fuel will come to an end sooner Absolutely, or later yeah. and uh, we already at that time thought that uh, it's no it's meaningless to to discuss about when this uh, this uh, fossil fuel will take to an end sooner or later it will and then if we started to think about the 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 term of our children's and grandchildren's then we said that okay then we are not living a sustainable lifestyle so therefore we we, we started to think about how could we turn into living a and practicing a more sustainable lifestyle mm. and we started with the first uh, first uh, uh, need of the human being namely the food so first we we, we looked around how could we uh, how could we produce uh, our food in an organic way without using any chemicals so we are farming here like fertilizers and no for no artificial fertilizer right no synthetic uh, additions no synthetic uh, pesticides fungicide nothing 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 mm -hmm. just we use uh, for 20 years now we use just uh, natural materials and we recycling everything so we instead of using linear processes in our farm and in our food processing we are using uh, we are thinking in a circle